I am Dr. Faisi Lewis, Cochin Amarda Hospitals Re Department of Reproductive Medicine Center's Associate Professor and Amarda Fertility Center's Senior Consultant. Today we will be talking about endometriosis and infertility. So what is this endometriosis? So endometriosis means uh, uh, the condition occurring uh, uh, where by which the uterus lining sheds every month that tissues occurs outside the body. So what happens in endometriosis? Usually every month for the females uterus lining sheds and that blood goes outside the body. If that tissue is occurring outside the uterus or on the tubes or the ovaries uh, or between the other structures near the uterus, that blood will not go outside the body. This, that lead to sticking um, between the uterus, tubes, ovaries. That lead to the endometriosis. So if it occurs in the ovary, that will lead to collection of the blood inside the ovary that is known as endometriotic cyst or the chocolate cyst. So uh, why does it cause infertility? So usually for the females every month from the ovaries, egg will be uh, released into the abdomen and that will go into the tube and in the tube that is near in the sides of the uh, uterus. Uh, where if there is a sperm that will fuse into form the baby and that will come and get implanted in the uterus after five, uh, five days. So if there is a sticking between the uterus, uh, ovaries and tubes, the each month mm, when the ovulation occurs, that eggs will not go into the, uh, will not be able to go into the tubes. So the normal fertilization will not occur in the body. So what are the signs or the what are the, how the patients will present in endometriosis? Usually, if there is endometriosis, patient will have severe pain during periods. That is known as dysmenorrhea. Or that means each time during uh, menstruation, female will have severe pain. Uh, that will be the uh, will be the only symptoms uh, uh, in which the patients will present. Or, uh, or if there is. Uh, uh, the pain during intercourse that is known as dyspareunia that means during intercourse there will be severe pain. How will you diagnose this endometriosis? First thing is that we have to take a proper history if the patient is having severe pain during periods or severe pain during intercourse that is dysmenorrhea or dyspareunia we have to suspect that. Then we have to go for an ultrasound and in the scan if you see the cyst in the ovary that is uh, if you see a endometriotic cyst or chocolate cyst in the ovary then it is uh, fa in favor of endometriosis. Next thing is that if the uh, tubes or the uh, intestine is stuck to the ovary that uh, during the scan we can suspect it but the proper diagnosis is by the the laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is a simple uh, procedure. It doesn't need much hospitalization like uh, open surgery and a patient can go back to the normal work within one or two days. The, the advantage of laparoscopy is that it is less invasive. Patient as I told they can go back to normal work. Not only that, not only the diagnosis we can do the correction also. If there is additions between the uh, tubes and the uterus and the intestine, we can correct that. Next thing is the resist in the ovary, we can drain it and, uh, and release the additions between the ovary and the uh, uterus. So uh, by doing the laparoscopy, not only the diagnosis, we can do the correction also. But laparoscopy is not, not to be done for all patients with endometriosis. Suppose if the uh, ovarian reserve is less, uh, that now we can do by the, doing the scan, blood test, if the ovarian reserve is less. Uh, we, we, if you do the uh, laparoscopy, each time when we do the laparoscopy, we will be cauterizing, we will be cauterizing the tissues that to reduce the chance of uh, recurrence that will reduce the further ovarian reserve. So uh, if the ovarian reserve is less or if in if the already one surgery is done for uh, uh, endometriosis for, uh, for a, for a uh, female, then if the ovarian reserve is less, definitely you must not go for a uh, repeat laparoscopy. Then what we, we have to do is that we have, can go for an in vitro fertilization that is IVF for test to baby treatment. So in test to baby treatment, what routinely occur in the fertilization uh, occurring in the female body in the tube, that will be, we will be, uh, we will be facilitating that outside the body by the in vitro fertilization. That means the egg is retrieved from the body and made to fuse with the sperm outside the body and the baby that is the embryo is put back into the uterus. Now even that is not uh, uh, rare in our, even our state also because there are a lot of centers, a lot of towns with uh, 
uh, IVF centers. That doesn't mean we have to go for IVF for all endometriosis patients. If there is endometriosis, definitely we have to advise, uh, uh, we have to properly diagnose it and advise them the proper basic treatments. And, and last resort only, we have to go for an IVF treatment. Even that is now, uh, uh, is not, uh, even though it is little bit expensive, we can, uh, it, is, uh, it is not much expensive compared to the about 10 years back. And in the event for the IVF procedure, when we retrieve the oocyte from the female body, we can freeze it in and uh, we can do two, three cycles of embryo transfer. So the net pregnancy rate with the IVF procedure is more compared to the about few years back because of the advent of the uh, freezing technique like vitrification. So in patients with uh, endometriosis, we have to properly diagnose where, how, uh, what is the reason for an infertility by if you are suspecting endometriosis by taking the proper history, proper doing the ultrasound, the blood test, and if needed, we have to go for an uh, uh, laparoscopy surgery or we have to go for an uh, IVF as a last resort. The next thing is that if, the, if you are suspecting endometriosis at a, a younger age before the female get, uh, get married, what to do? And then uh, we can give some medicines to suppress the, uh, suppress the ovulation and, and uh, that does not uh, uh, increases the lesion or increases the severity of the endometriosis. So now with the advent of uh, uh, good techniques of uh, blood tests and uh, diagnostic techniques, we can properly diagnose the endometriosis and give the patients with endometriosis uh, 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 a solution for their inf inf for infertility by advising them and uh, properly treating the, those patients with endometriosis.